Hi guys. Yep, yeah, so it's just me again. Um, I've had an actual mare with this app that I'm trying to uh, use to edit the videos. Anyway, I've had to go fast, as you can see, because it was actually quite long. And I could only do a certain length of time. Anyway, um, these nails I did on Pamela. And it was just to have a go at doing maybe a set that would be suitable for a baby shower so i've used blues and pinks and i am using my cjp uh, liz guild brush i absolutely love the brush but like i mentioned in my last video i think it might be seeing the end of its days and i still haven't got around to getting a new one but hey ho that'll come so yeah on the first finger, I've used Marshmallow from CJP. And the glitter I've used is just one that I've had for ages. I don't know where it's from. So I'm really sorry I can't give you the name of that. On this finger, I'm using Baby Blue from CJP. I love this colour. I really, really do like the blue. Um... And obviously, I think it's the perfect blue to use for any sort of baby shower, baby blue uh, set. So yeah, like I said, I've had to speed some of it up. But you get the basic idea of it. I'm still learning. So yeah, I'll just do a swoosh of that uh, glitter. And again, with this blue glitter as well, it's just an old one that I had. So I'm really not sure where it's from or what it's called. Um, yeah, so it's actually this next nail that I go on to do, that you'll see in a second, and I'm doing a sort of ombre in a line down the middle with the glitters, the blue and the pink, so I'll just let you watch it for a second. I do think that this blue and pink go amazingly together and I, I really do wish I knew which one it was but I've got plenty of it left so for now I should be okay. On the baby finger, um, I'm coming in with that baby blue again and I'm going to do an ombre with the baby blue and marshmallow. Again, I think they work really well together. Um, I actually wish I had a baby shower to go to so that I could do these on myself. 
but I will go back and cap that line down that finger with the glitters. I will cap it and then I'll be able to file it. I'm really sorry that I've had to go faster so you can't see 100% but that's something I'm going to have to have a really good practice with this app. So like I say, just capping that glitter there, just so that once it's dry I'll be able to uh, file it to make it crisp. Then I'm going back and I'm capping all the other nails whilst that glitter ombre is waiting to dry. Um, yeah.
Yeah, so I'll just come in with my brush and just give the uh, give the acrylic a tap to make sure that it's dry enough for me to be able to go in and file it. And once I'm happy with that, um, I then come in with the baby blue, no, the marshmallow, yep, yeah, the marshmallow um, on one side. Um, and then I will come in with the baby blue on the other side. So I did record the filing, um, the e-filing that I did to reveal the the line of the ombre glitter um, and also the filing for the shaping and everything but it just, I didn't have enough time to keep it all in so that Anyway, um, this is the finished look and I am aware that one nail is longer than the other I just haven't made it shorter yet and I just thought rather save time and just do it as it is so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe and like, it would be much appreciated. Bye.